Hi, I'm Ryan and you're watching my YouTube series on functional programming. In this episode, we will learn about the join operator and we will also see an example of where and when to use it in our code when composing operations. For this video, I will be reusing a bunch of code that I wrote for one of my previous videos, which was composition using functors. If you haven't seen it, I suggest that you should. But if you have already, and if you know what I'm talking about, then please go ahead and watch the rest of this video. So here's the code in the previous video. I have a function called as read file, which simply assumes that this is the data that is going to be returned by the file. You have a function called getJSON, which parses, get length, which gives you the length, and a, pro and a function just to print stuff. And in the previous video, I also defined a function called as map, which is a, which is a curried version of the map function, and it just runs map on whatever functor is passed to it. And what we saw was, if you have a composition going on here, which we have through the pipe function here, we have a bunch of functions running in a sequence, and one of the functions in the sequence returns an either. Subsequent functions need to use the map operator. And there is one interesting thing about this, this whole composition here. And that is only one function in this sequence returns a complex type or a container. What I mean by that is this function here returns an either. This function returns a primitive. And that is the reason why when I run this code, I'm able to get a primitive. So I get two here. But what if that is not the case? So in this case, we wanted to print the length of this array. But what if we do not want the length of the array, but we want to print a message if, if it's empty or if it's not empty? So I'm going to create a function called as, uh, which takes the contents, which is the, the value, the success value of the either. And if dot from condition, I have an either the from condition, and my condition is contents dot length greater than zero. So if it is greater than zero, I want to run or I want to return not empty. And if it is less than zero, I want to return empty. This is a very simple use case, right? And now if I run this code, I'm going to see I have a strange error for some reason. Contents is not defined, so this is contents. So I'm going to clear this. All right, so I had a typo over there. What I'm seeing here is instead of getting a value which was two or the value which was uh, which I'm expecting not empty, I'm actually getting a write. Why is that the case? Remember that when you map on stuff, you're actually mapping on the functor, which means that is the returned value is in a wrapper, and that's what either does, right? So it wraps the value inside of a write. So that's what's happening. And because in this case, we already had a container, and now instead of returning a primitive, we are returning another container. So our value is wrapped twice. So if you actually wanted to get the value out of this, you would do map and map, you would map twice. So if I run this code, I'm gonna get the value not empty, which is correct. Now this gets a little bit messy because now if you have another function which needs this in the future, you're gonna to have to write map of map of map and that's just cumbersome. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna keep the signature the same, but we're gonna create a helper utility for us on the either. And I've already created this one over here, it's called join. And what join does is, it simply returns the value without wrapping it in anything. Well, this might seem lame, but let's let's see what how how we can use this. So I'm going to create a function, a utility called as join here. And what it does is, it just takes a functor and so join, and that's all it does. 
takes a functor and runs functor.join. And what I can do here is because now I have the first container and I'm adding a second layer of container and that's not what I want. I'm going to do join. I'm going to introduce a join in between them. And now if I run this code here, I get the value not empty. And it's as a regular, it's like a reg regular value. It's not wrapped inside anything. So understand what I did here. I took two levels of nesting and I eliminated one level of nesting by simply returning this data. Because if, if I were to map on this directly, which I was doing previously, if I were to simply map on this directly, it would, it would simply try to wrap the result inside of a write or inside of the previous container. But that's not what we want. We want to unwrap and then send the primitive value to the next function in the chain. So if you want to summarize it, you want to think about it as if you already have a primitive or, or a container and you're trying to introduce another container in the chain, the moment you do that, you want to do a join. And that's how you can continue your chain without having to run nested maps. Well, that's about it for this video, but I hope uh, you find this useful and stay tuned for more interesting stuff in the next video. Thanks for watching.